Hey YouTube. Well you can see what's missing over there and that's the pile of siding that I had cut. So I delivered that today and they'll put that siding on I guess after they do some work to prepare for it. So anyway I didn't get to do any logging today but what I did do was I started working on our chicken coop. Since uh, a friend of ours brought my wife some chickens. I need to, uh, we got to keep them separated from the chickens we do have because they're too young and the ones we have will, will uh, possibly hurt them. So I started making this ad addition onto this chicken coop and I got to tell you that when I was in my 30s and 40s I could have built this whole chicken coop in about four hours. But once you get into your 60s, <laughs> it took me almost all day just to nail this together and cut all the boards. It just seems like everything is heavier than it used to be. Of course, I'm working with some heavier wood, so maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway, I'm using this stuff. I use the treated wood for the foundation of it. But I'm using the wood from the um, sawmill for everything else. So... I just keep you a little posted on when I do this. All I'm going to do with it is uh, I'm going to make it as if the roof was extended out. So in other words, from this line here, from the roof line, I'm just going to extend that straight over and then down. i got to put another door in here for clean out and a door at the other end for the chickens to get out into the yard. They'll be able to crawl on, around underneath both of these buildings. And they get a lot of sunlight under there because of the way the sun hits this thing, so it should be good for them. Uh, leaving the chickens run loose around here would be a big mistake because there's a lot of uh, fox. There are hawks that will... The first day I put the chickens here, the hawks were surrounding the place. So the hawks would kill them, the fox would kill them, and the bear would kill them. So that's why we have to keep them in or penned up. So you can see in the woods there we don't have any snow left. Today was a really nice day. A lot of snow melted and everything is gone. It was I guess around 45 today. Supposed to be about the same way tomorrow. Well maybe it's not all gone. There's a little bit hanging on in the shady spots. I had gotten an email. I, I bought this stuff the other day online at Home Depot. and. Um, it's called Wood Life Copper Coat Green Wood Preservative and it says here prolongs the life of non-pressure treated wood for exterior and ground con con contact use. So um, this is about the best thing that I've been able to find so far as far as um, using it to uh, treat wood. Now I had used that Thompson's water seal the other day and I thought I would try that but after looking at a little bit, it doesn't seem like it's going to be any good for ground contact because it just, it's just it's more like a water sealer and it doesn't seem to last very long. So this stuff is supposed to be a lot better. Hey. Hey you. I was just reading some of the directions and stuff in here. This must be some pretty nasty stuff. Uh, there's a thing here about animals and hazards to humans and it goes into a lot more than what you'd normally see on paint and um, from what I was reading here it says uh, that if you put this on wood it'll be protected from infestation of wood destroying organisms including subterranean termites, dry wood termites, wood destroying beetles, powder post beetles, carpenter and decay fungi or fungi. It may also be used to control warping, swelling, shrinking, and checking due to its anti-wicking property. But this is some sealer which resists moisture absorption and movement from end to end. Rot, mold, and mildew, and moss. You know, if it does what it says it's going to be pretty good stuff. I don't know if anybody has ever used this before. Uh, they are claiming that it's good for when you make cuts in wood to put this over that, especially treated wood. Well, not treated wood, just even regular wood. You shouldn't spray this in any way or make any kind of fine mist with it. Now, this is five gallons, so it should cover about 1,500 square feet. Hmm. 
there's a limited warranty but it doesn't actually give it to you in time so anyway it says it's paintable and stainable above or below ground decks and piers, posts, fences and end cuts wow so that's what I originally got it for uh, the thing was I went and I bought some 4x4's treated 4x4's to build my deck because I want the, the treated stuff to at least be settling on the ground and I wasn't I was waiting for this so I didn't think it was going to come in time for me to start doing the deck but it did come today so I went and picked it up you know part of the trouble living in the country is everything's an hour away including Home Depot it says here that it's a corrosive So anyway, after reading that container of clear coat, or copper coat, I mean, should say, I want to be able to um, put that on the boards that I'm going to use for my deck, which is this. But first I'd like to dry it a little bit so that when, um, when I do copper coat it, that it absorbs into the wood a little. Now it doesn't say that it has to absorb into the wood, but it would be better if it did. It's recommended that you use it when it's not, when the wood is not wet that it's dry and everything so these two by sixes and the ones I have over there and the ones that I'm going to be cutting from this stuff are going to have to be dried first so it's my hopes now that if the weather's going to stay uh, like this and I hope it does but you never know um, that I'm going to be able to plane at least uh, well I should plane both sections of this I should there's about 1500 board feet in there probably probably closer to 2,000 I guess. Um, I need to plane all of that and then I'll be able to dry this and then I could copper coat it and then use it to build the deck. Now th this is the stuff that we all hate which is the waiting. The oak that's in the kiln and all that, 99% of that is red oak. 1% of it is some white oak and I think there's a little bit of uh, hickory in there. But other than that, um, that stuff has already been dried and ready to go, so it can be planed any time, as long as I can, you know, work with it. I'd like to get the planer over here and do the work, rather than carrying this stuff from here into the garage and then back out again. So I'm thinking about how to set this up. But I think first I'll finish cutting this pine, and uh, since it's such a nice day today, I'll work on this tomorrow then because it's the end of the day already and see how far I can get with uh, cutting some of this up. I'm going to enjoy cutting this. I can hardly wait to do it. Um, other than that, uh, it's just been a, like I say, a fairly nice day. It was a two hour trip or better to go pick up the paint. So yeah, that's my intention is to dry the pine first, copper coat probably the 4x4's for one thing. I, I, there's one here and I think another one in the garage but I'll have a bunch of them enough to build the deck as well and maybe I'll just keep those other treated 4x4's I have for fence posts. It's it's tough when you have all your own wood and you know you needed something treated because there's no good treatments. When I was a kid my dad used to take tar, a bucket of tar and dip 4x4's into tar and put that into the ground. Well, that really never lasted. It was, uh, I'd say about 15 years or 10 years after the fact the boards were broken off and uh, the wood was pretty rotted inside. So we'll see what this copper coat is like. You know, when you build stuff, you want to build it in such a way that you don't have to come after it a second time, especially when you're young. Well, I'm not young anymore, so hopefully whatever works or whatever I coat this stuff with lasts me long enough to get to my end of my life. This should have been cut off in the woods. This was a, a tree that was like up in the air real high when I first cut it and it was being supported by some of these uh, branches that were coming off of it. That's a pretty big branch coming off that tree. I gotta cut that off before I can start to get going with this. 
Oh, gotta get my grandson up here. There's too much moving around the stuff for me. I need some help. Gotta finish cleaning that up. Uh, somebody was here today and told me that they'd like me to take this, these boards that I was gonna throw away and cut them and split them down the middle and they'll use them for making something. I don't know what they want to make out of them, so I'm going to do that probably tomorrow morning so that they can have them and get them off my back. And then I'll try and finish the chicken coop. I'm not going to use that copper coat in the chicken coop because it says to keep it away from animals and food, so... I'm going to clean this up. You know, it's really hard to believe that the, uh, that it might not snow, and I actually don't believe it. I th think we are going to get more snow, but I don't know when. So, there he is. Bunny rabbit. Or no, that's not a bunny rabbit. He's right in front of that. There he is, right there.